It isn't easy to grow living things in the land of the dead. But I've become a patient gardener over the centuries. At last, I have a flower worthy of the immortals. One cutting ought to be enough. a few more months when I've waited for millennia for my revenge. Okay, Hercules, I'm ready. Your streak ends here, ex-champ. Ready? Go! Huh? I... I did it! I finally beat you! Guess you didn't finish your ambrosia at breakfast. Uh, well, it tasted funny. Could explain that twinge in my elbow. Wait a second. Did you let me win? Huh? Uh, <laughs> well, can't fool you, can I? <laughs> now, as your mentor, I am trying to boost your confidence, Harry. You've got to really believe in yourself if you're gonna do something incredibly brave like, uh, uh, rescue your friends from the underworld. Yeah, like the time Theseus and Peritheus were trapped in the chair of forgetfulness, and I went to the underworld to rescue them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I could only carry one. My friends know they can count on me. Care for a snack, boys? Who wants a little ambrosia? Uh, I thought mortals aren't allowed to eat it. Mm-mm. No, well, it's still not as good as usual, though, Athena. <laughs> Harry. Did I ever tell you about the time I rescued Theseus from the underworld? He was trapped in the chair of forgetfulness, and then, uh, um... Oh, I forget the rest. Yeah, this ambrosia really tastes a little off. You just told me that story. It's not just your food that's off. <sighs> Harry, give me a hand up, would you? <clears throat> I think I'll go for a walk. What's the matter with him? Oh, he'll feel better once he has a little ambrosia. I'll get some. But he just had... And you just... Um, I'll be right back. It's gone! And they stole it! Hey, what's up? Goddess in a rage. Aphrodite thinks someone stole her favorite mirror. Neil's trying to calm her down. Brave guy, Neil. Never thought I'd say that. They're always taking my things! 
No, no, your mirror's right here where you left it. The nymphs didn't take it. Ah, oh, what a fuss. Just because a goddess misplaced a mirror. Athena and Hercules are having problems with their short-term memory, too. You think maybe... What? The gods are going senile? Now let's think happy thoughts. You are the goddess of love, remember? Who? Me. Was that a... Thunderbolt! Zeus! Uh, well, well, for, forget about the mirror. How about a nice, relaxing uh, foot massage? Ha! Ah, I've still got it. Bullseye! But I thought you were gonna use these. Uh, Zeus, why don't we play something else for a while, like backgammon? Uh, okay. <laughs> and maybe I should put away the sharp objects. Jay, Odie, what's going on? Good question. The gods are all starting to behave like they're really old. Duh, they are really old. They look fine, but they're showing the effects of old age. Crankiness, weakness, dementia. Aren't they immortal? Immortal, yes. They won't die, but it's ambrosia that keeps them healthy. Hercules said the ambrosia tasted off right before he told me the same story twice. Maybe the gods aren't eating enough of it. Hi, uh, guys. A little help here? Come back here, Cheetah! I'm on it. I'll get Hermes. Atlanta, Odie, you think you can help Athena make a fresh batch of ambrosia while the rest of us look after the other gods? Sure. No problem. Why are you all so eager to help in the kitchen all of a sudden? Uh, no reason. We just need a party-sized ambrosia platter. And we really should help, I, you know, chopping vegetables and stuff. There aren't any vegetables in ambrosia. It's about time I taught you something about cooking. Let me see. Ambrosia. Better check my recipe. Does that say eggs or butter? Um, Odie, is this ancient Greek? Uh, looks like linear A. The most ancient Greek there is. But you can read it, right? <sighs> okay. No more thunderbolts for a while. The Lord of the Sky is taking a nap. Hermes crashed, too. Aphrodite's relaxing after a strenuous foot massage. Ow. And Hercules is missing. We just did a head count, and all the gods are accounted for except Hercules. Probably went for a walk. Hercules wandered off? Don't worry, Harry. Even if he is a little confused, what could possibly happen to the strongest man in the world? That's just it. It's not what the world might do to a confused Hercules. It's what a confused Hercules might do to the world. He's got a point. I know you? You don't remember me. No, you forgot me long ago, didn't you? When you carried off Theseus and left me behind. Theseus? Ooh, now that name rings a bell. Uh, yeah! Discus thrower in the 650 BC Olympics? I lived out my natural life in the chair of forgetfulness before Hades released me. Only to tell me that I could never leave because I was already dead. But I did escape, and now you are the one sitting on a bench with your memory gone. Huh. Someone might find you here. I have a better place for you to spend eternity staring into space. A ride? Oh, great idea. Oh. <laughs> I always start with the best flower, I think, and then... and then... Come on, Athena. If you can't remember how to make ambrosia, it won't be long before you can't remember anything. Yes, honey. Honey! 
I need some honey. You can't make ambrosia without honey. Oh, fresh out. Fine. I'll go buy some. <laughs> you mean go to the market like common mortals? Wow. So this is where the food of the gods comes from. Sure beats walking to the corner store. Fetch me some honey from the hives. Um... Oh, go on, go on. They won't be interested in you. See? That was easy, wasn't it? Eureka! The first ingredient is... Honey! Yeah! How did you know? Uh, did you say first ingredient? We've had a little trouble with the recipe. Well, Athena finally remembered the honey, and a few other things. Oh. I hope she can remember more than that. Because this recipe looks like a list of ingredients. No instructions on how to actually make it. <coughs> Ugh. Well, I certainly wouldn't make it with this. I take it there's something wrong with the honey? Yet? Nope. Not a demolished building or crumpled bus in sight. I'm already on the other side of the city and haven't seen anything unusual at all. Whoa! Hang on. I got him. He's on a horse. I, I think somebody's kidnapped him. Kidnapped Hercules? Harry, don't take him on alone. Just stay close until you get some backup. Can't talk. Chasing bad guy. Oh, no. You're not getting away that easy. Everything the gods eat comes from this garden, including the honey. So if the bees make it here, there's no way it could be contaminated. Yes, there is. The honey doesn't come from the outside world, but the nectar does. The nectar? Right. Let's find the source of that nectar. Find it? You mean, follow the bees? How are we going to do that? What a crazy day! I've gone from chasing after senile gods to chasing after monster bees. Teresa and Neil can handle the gods. Just keep your eyes on the bees. They sure look like they know where they're going. There. Now you'll have a fine view of the cause of your situation. Though I don't suppose you'll ever realize it. You know, the legends say you were rather good at dealing with monsters. Yes, there was a... Uh, there was a great lion. And, uh... And that, that thing with all the heads, uh... The Hydra. And you were an expert with weapons such as these. Oh, I was the best with the discus and the, uh, this long thingy too, but uh, my elbow's been bothering me lately. No matter. I have an elixir that will have your joints good as new. You see, there are three flying monsters invading our pleasant valley. I was rather hoping you might do something about it. Here they come now. Okay, I think the next ingredient is chopped walnuts. Do we have a food processor? Odie, how's it going in here? The gods are getting a little peckish. Not so good, Neil. Athena still doesn't remember the recipe. Young man, I could make ambrosia in my sleep. Well, I hope she nods off then, because the last three batches didn't turn out so good. Something smells, uh, done. Whoa! I almost forgot! I've got one in the oven! That one looks good. Yeah, except we made it without honey. I'm afraid to try it. It might turn me into a two-headed griffin or something. You need some honey? I'm on my way! No, Neil! You don't understand! You can't just go to the store and...
that's the noxious plant that's attracting the bees. Do you think the nectar is some kind of poison? Uh, it's a good bet. Let's take a closer look. Did somebody just throw a discus? Yikes! I'm back! Once again, Neil saves the day. Neil, I tried to tell you. All the food of the gods come from this magical garden outside the kitchen. You can't just go to the store for honey. Why not? Uh, because it's for the gods. So? Okay, I know the gods are picky, and it might not be as fancy as magic honey, but it wouldn't cause any harm, would it? Actually, it might, but come on, it's organic. <sighs> I suppose it's worth a try. It couldn't hurt. Okay, let's see who stirred up those bees. Hercules? Eyesight not what it was. Just let him come closer. Somebody just shot an arrow at Jane. Missed by a mile, though. Whoever it is, they're protecting that bush. We have to destroy it. No argument there. You do it. First put me down so I can draw the bees away. Whoa, argument there. No way I'm gonna drop you into a swarm of killer bees. What are you doing? Stop it! No! Don't do it! Don't let go! Hercules, don't you know me? I'm your friend. Hmm. I don't make friends with monsters, even ones that appear human. Luckily, my real friend here... Paratheus. Perry, yeah, warned me that you would try and trick me. Hercules, I found you! Are you all right? Just fine. <laughs> I'm a reasonable man. Get out of our valley, and I'll let you survive. We don't leave behind a friend who's in trouble. And you're in trouble. He's right, Hercules. You're not yourself. You've been poisoned. You've been poisoned. He's lying. You're as strong as you ever were. Your tricks won't save you. <laughs> okay. I can see we're gonna have to do this the hard way. <laughs> seen you since that terrible day I had to leave you behind. What in the world is going on? You were right about the Ambrosia, Harry. Paratheus planted a bush from the underworld to attract Athena's bees. It's their honey that's been messing with the gods' minds. That bush? Yes. We've got to destroy it, but the bees won't let us get close enough. Leave it to me. The 
bees got her. She's barely breathing. Isn't there anything we can do for her? Oh, I haven't felt so helpless since I had to leave you behind in Hades. I can help her. You? How did you get so good at healing? The underworld is full of healers, herbalists, witches, apothecaries. I learned from the best, and I've had a lot of time to study. There. She'll come around in a minute. What about the gods? Can you cure them? Uh, I can't make the gods young again. For that, you need... Ambrosia? You made Ambrosia? Yep. The more attempts we made, the more Athena seemed to get her groove back. And this is the best batch so far. Except we made it with regular honey. Ahem. Organic honey? It seems to work. All the gods are recovering already. Mmm. Well, that's pretty good. But I've had better. Uh, you try some, Perry? No, I'm not allowed. I'd better go back to the underworld. Go back? <laughs> not before I'm done with you. No, we got a lot of catching up to do. I mean, I got a couple of thousand years worth of stories for you. Oh, Hercules, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused. I was wrong to hate you. <laughs> Stop interrupting! I was telling you about me. After centuries apart, resentment and revenge, they're still pals. Unbelievable what a friendship can survive, isn't it? I don't know, Harry. I don't think it's that unbelievable. 